Hey everybody, it's Patty, and we uh, had a quick run down to Trader Joe's. Quicker to get there than to come back. We're about 45 minutes away. So I just want to show you what we got. And we did stop at Aldi's for a couple of things. And then our little Italian store. So let's just start with the freezer stuff so we can get that put away. I got these beef tamales. Uh, my husband likes beef tamales, so he'll take them for lunch. I uh, got the Trader Joe's blueberries. So like one pound, two ounces. Going back to the shake mix, so that'll go really well. I really wanted the whole bacon coffee, but they only had chocolate chip, so that'll do. We got two boxes of those. I mean, these are like a really like like little snack at night. I mean, so three cones is two eighty per serving, but I only have one cone at night. I mean, sometimes two, but if I have a meeting. Um, we got the blueberry waffles. My husband's been having those in the morning. Uh, easy to throw in the toaster oven. These vegetable bird nest nests, I put these in the air fryer. Everyone seems to like them, so that's an easy, you know, little vegetable, um, like a little um, easy, you know, like uh, easy dinner even, you know, with something else. So I got some chopped romaine for my lettuce. Skipping over here, we got some mandarin oranges, some the potato. Uh, French onion bread, we really like that one. It's really good. We're gonna try this. It's simpler wines. It was $4.99 for four, and this is the white Italian sparkling wine, Vino Frazzante. Have one of those tonight over ice. And then if you haven't had this before, I've had it, it was really good. The Secco grapefruit papalini, really, really good. Okay, so then I got these, the mini pearl grape tomatoes. I got more than I usually get because I was going to use them for my, um, I got this, I got spaghetti squash. And then I'm gonna make the spaghetti squash with roasted tomatoes and feta cheese in it. It's really good. And then Grace picked out these, the big cheese crunchies. I did pick out the mini cucumbers to have with salads. These to try coconut flavored almonds. These were good, are good. Um, the Trader Joe's s'mores clusters. This is new at my store and it's, I think a lot of other stores. We had a couple on the way home. They're really good. We had the everything but the bagel seasoning chips and I got one for home, one for work. And I got a package of two of these. I really like these, they're so good. They're actually good with the, um, I usually get the Lake Laughing Cow cheese, so I need to go get some of those. But it's really good. Mung beans, seeds, cashews, raisins, and cheese. It's like a little bit of a sweet to the cracker. It's really delicious. And then as you can see, I got the PB and J snack du duos. I got three because I'll send one to my friend again. She really liked those. A little good little snack for her. So I got those. I got the second thing of trail mix. These were new, so we grace pictures out right when we walk in. It's just a patio potato chip. And it's like a mixed bag of sea salt and vinegar, delicious dill, homestyle ketchup, and smoke and sweet barbecue flavored potato chips. So here's like one. Uh, feta cheese to go with that. Spaghetti squash. Uh, this is a Aldi's. And we got the chocolate chip crispy crunch cookies from Trader Joe's, the teeny tiny cukes. Those are really good for dipping and I can send those to school with Grace with some hummus. I'm gonna get these to try the teeny tiny tomatoes. That one's Trader Joe's and that came to 112. Then we had to stop at Aldi's for a couple of things. Grace picked out these loaded bacon flavored chips. I got the low carb whole wheat tortilla wraps I'm going to make tonight. Oh, but I just saw that it's open. Oh, it looks like, yeah. I don't know if my dog just did that. Hmm. So I'm gonna throw that away because I don't know if my dog did that. I just noticed a hole in it. Knowing my dog, it might've been him, but I don't know. I don't know. So I guess I'm gonna throw those away because I really don't know how that happened. That sucks. Stinks, sorry. Got the rotisserie pulled chicken. This sells for $7.19. I really like it. Great on salads. I got another dozen eggs. The eggs were cheap this week. They're like, I think, $2.09. And they had gone up as high as four or five bucks. So I think all these come down a little bit on prices. Because even the Colby Jack. Uh, this was on sale for like a buck ninety-nine. 
I got these steak and we used to eat these as kids. So I got them again and to just to uh, make like steak sandwiches tomorrow night for dinner. And this fondue was on sale, a buck ninety nine, and that's cheap. Two pack of paper towel. I'm bumming about those low carbs, so I have to go to Walmart now because what we're having for supper, I need tortilla wraps with. And then we went to the Italian store as well. So we got the imported all Italian olives. They taste delicious. Uh, we got these, like uh, you know, uh, prosciutto and mozzarella rolled up. And then we got some Yonkies. Um, they're past the selling date, so he was at, he actually would have to throw them away to be honest. So I got one of these. I'll cook some tonight up in a pan, and then I'm gonna freeze the rest. So um, the Italian store was 35. All these was, I think, 30, and then Trader Joe's was 112. So I mean, not bad. This will last us. We won't go grocery shopping next weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend, and so I think we're heading in the right direction. And we're definitely over budget, definitely over budget in um, groceries this month for May, but um, I think we did okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have fun. Bye.